Hey guys, welcome to Punky's World. I'm so glad you stopped in. Today I'm going to do a little bit different of video, and yes, I'm wearing the same dress because I really didn't wear it yesterday. I was in the pool. Um, I'm going to do a makeup video. Um, I told you all about this, and I'm going to try it today. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what I have. These are just pads. I love this thing. Um, I did clean it. This is a makeup sponge. And I am telling you, I have never used anything like it. Oops. I have never used anything like it. Um, tons of lipstick in here mostly. A bit of eyeliner, which I really don't use. Um, I am going to be using my mascara because I used to have big beautiful lashes. That's all lipsticks. That is moisture and um, cleanser. Actually, and toner. But I got one I like better. Um, so that's for later. Let me show you the other stuff. First of all, this is all my brushes. I kept them in the bag. They Actually, this is in the bag they came in. This bag feels better than the bag they came in. Um, those are regular eyeshadows. These are more lip colors. I'm obsessed with lips. <laughs> um, this is foundation. I am hoping that it is not too dark for my skin because I am a lily white Irishman. <laughs> so, this is mascara. I had to write on it what it was because it's really hard to read, but um, it's mascara, which like I said, I've been using because um, my medication made my eyebrows, uh, not my eyebrows, my eyelashes terrible. This is if you want to do some kind of fancy design, <coughs> like on your eye, it, um, it's a stencil. Don't use it. This is powder. I usually use the lighter one because I am so light. Um, and this is blush. I don't have much blush. This is about it. Um, and I am not in any way an expert. Um, this is concealer. I also have all of this concealer. I wonder why there is green concealer. I mean this color makes sense if you're African American, but what is green? I don't know any green human beings, but there must be a reason that there's green concealer. It must go under specific makeup. Um, I like the stick concealer. I haven't tried this one yet, but I know I like the stick one. So, that's what I'm going to use today. Um, obviously, this side is the... African American side, obviously, and I won't be using that side. It will look ridiculous. Again, I'm a ghostly pale Irishman. Um, my French family probably could have gotten away with this side, but I did not inherit their skin color. I am going to use this, oops, right here, because that is nasty. Now, use this to kind of rub it in and came right off. Oh, dang it. Okay. I get dry a little bit as I pat it in. And that's keeping it from completely wiping off the area that I want to hide. Now that's not hiding it very well. Uh, I mean, I know it's nasty, but it's not hiding it very well at all. Um, I might have to try one of the other ones if I can find the lid. But the lid! <laughs> oh, here it is. Um, one thing about me and makeup that you should know is I'm freaking blind. So when I try, <laughs> when I try to put on eyeshadow and I don't have my glasses on, it's very difficult for me. 
Um, and I go very slowly with mascara. Um, like I said, it's, it's difficult for me because I can't see anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that other concealer and see if you want a perfect color for me. Even if it's not absolutely perfect, the foundation will deal with it. I just want to cover that enough so that... <clears throat> okay, I'm using that one for lipstick. No, nope, that one's the one I'm using for lipstick. So... I'm using the tapered ones for lipstick. There we go. This is not being used for lipstick. This one is. Um, I do like those lipsticks, and I will give them out for that. Um, I have a brush that I have had for a long time. This brush. I stinking love this brush for blush. Because usually you end up getting a little tiny thing like this in your blush. No. <laughs> I also got myself this applicator for um, eyeshadow. Love it. And I have other ones here. Um, but my fine motor skills are so bad that using something like this for blush is just ridiculous for me. So I went out and purchased myself an eyeshadow brush. <laughs> and this is um, a blush brush that I've had forever. I got it in a makeup kit years ago. Love it. Um, okay. So let's try to figure out this concealer. I'm going to go with this color. If I do it like that. I mean, it's not going to cover it perfectly, but I think it hides it well enough. It's hard to do this on camera. I should be doing this in a mirror. Um, I meant to bring out a mirror. Okay, that looks pretty good. I used this color, which is pretty pale. Um, again, this is <laughs> Miss Rose makeup, it um, says it's professional, but it's Amazon makeup. So. I've seen them use concealers and foundations to literally cover up tattoos. Don't know how they do that, but I've seen them do it. I cannot get this cover back on here. That is absolutely insane. I think it goes like that. <laughs> really? Oh, I have it backwards. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is the foundation, and I do not know how dark this is going to be. Well, it's not too, too bad. I mean, it's darker than I would like it, but I have to leave my glasses on as long as I possibly can. Um... Like I said, <laughs> I'm stinking blind without him. And, uh, my mother always told me that when you put your foundation on, and I'm going to just put some right on the sponge, um, that you should always go down your neck. Otherwise, you look ridiculous because then your face is made up to here. <laughs> so, move that around a little bit so it's not all in one spot. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, I do actually like the feel of this foundation, honestly. Let me take my glasses off to do my forehead and my eyes. I said, I do like feel of this foundation in this rose. It's nice. Um, it's it's soft. It's not like thick and cakey. Um, wow. <laughs> and actually, put my glasses on. Yeah, that did a nice job. 
of evening out my face. So that's that's really good. Um, I don't have any sponsors. I okay. I could whoops put some right here, but I don't really try to hide my scar. <clears throat> so again, this is the Miss Rose Matte Finish. Um, it doesn't say what color, but it's got to be one of the lightest ones, given my skin tone. <laughs> that looks amazing, and it feels so light, which I love. Now, I don't think I need any powder, so I'm not going to use the powder. I'm going to move on to the blush. I don't have any, like, um, what do you call it, toners or, uh, no, not toners, what is it called? Um, bronzers or anything like that. I'm not fancy. I just do my my makeup, you know. If I'm going out, I don't do my makeup. Um, like I said, I'm not fancy. I do not want to look like a clown, however. So I try to make both sides look the same, which is difficult when you only have one good eye. <laughs> um, I'm going back and forth between my hands because looking in the camera, it's kind of hard to to see and you automatically want to go to the opposite side when you uh, now I was always told you use the apples of your cheeks which is the roundest part of your cheeks I'm gonna just kind of rub it with this. Oh yeah. You know what? That looks good. And it's even. Which is awesome. Now to my eyes. Now the mascara is difficult for me. Again, because I can't see it. So I kind of blink into it. That's, that looks good, actually. Let me put my glasses on here. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I was going to put my moisturizer on first, but I, I can't find it, which sucks, because it's... Uh, a really good moisturizer. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is the eyeshadow. Now, I want to do kind of a pink, but I don't want to go crazy. Um, I'm going to get my cheeks. They're just barely blushy. So we'll use this pink. Okay. Now, I've seen other people do this with like multiple shadows or whatever. I just am not at that stage in makeup to where I can do that. Now this is the one I can't see at all. Um, because I can't see out of my right eye. Um, I can't tell how much is on there. Hopefully I don't look like a clown. Because my goal is to look pretty. I can't even see the sparkle. <laughs> Isn't that awful? I'll be able to see better once I uh, put my glasses back on. There we go. Now I can see some color. Again, this is not expensive glitter. Um, let's take a look. Hopefully you can see it. I can't see it very well. Um, again, I 
<clears throat> my glasses get all powdery. There. Okay, let's take a look. I think <sighs> it's so hard to tell from here. I do see it. Oops. I do see it now. Um, so that's good. See it more on on uh, the side. Oh yeah, I see it on that side, but I do not see it on this side. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I see it on both sides and it looks kind of cool. I like that color. Okay. This way. This way. What I'm going to do for lipstick is... I'm going to use the Miss Rose 15 color creamy and what I do is I go over it because this is kind of a matte finish lipstick so I go over it with a gloss just to shine it um, but I think it actually comes out better I paint it first because it stays on better. And I'll show you the color. It's uh this one. This one. Right here. Let me look in the mirror. Holy crap. I need to fix my eyes. Wow. I need a bigger brush to try to fix my eyes a little bit. Okay. Excuse me. I have to hold up the mirror. Holy crap. I did not realize how much I had on my eyes. And it's only in the middle. That's what's really weird about it. It needs to go down. Ugh. Okay, I need to fix that. Hold on, guys. Oh, it's right here. Sorry, guys. I need to fix that. Okay. Just glad that I have a good mirror here. And yes, I realize this brush is technically for blush, but I'm trying to spread the glitter eye color around a little bit. So it's not so thick in one spot, if that makes sense. Um, So I want to use a big fat brush to push it around. Actually, that's pretty good. This one needs a little work. Right down there. There we go. Good. Actually, I kind of like it because it's um, basically at the bottom, which is what I want. I got some underneath, but that's okay. Can the oh, I like it. I really like it. Good. Right, that's fixed. <laughs> now, I need to use the mirror and 
the camera and I will do my lips. I know I just did them, but I'm going to shine them. Um, I actually got um, these, and I thought I would wear these on a Kid Missing video like in October because it's purple, but the one that I tried was really crumbly on my lips. It just kind of cracked. So I'll just have to see if I can get it to work better. I don't know if my lips need some other kind of moisture or... Okay, this is a nice light gloss. Now washing this off is going to be a challenge, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm up for the challenge. Again, I want to just go over the eyes a little bit because, man, I did not realize that the glitter is really made to go over other, other eye product. Um, just going to blend the glitter just a little bit. Um, okay, just blend. Just a little bit. Okay, let me. There we go. It's blended a little bit. So it's not quite as dramatic as it was because if I do happen to leave the house today which I don't think I'm going to because it's kind of hot um, it will look right that is better actually um, please be kind in the comments because I know that I'm not a makeup artist I just have always wanted to do this there we go. My big blue eyes. Boop. Actually, I'm kind of surprised at how well my mascara came out. Um, but I have learned something. And that is that the glitter stuff is supposed to go over the top of regular. So in the future, that's what I'll do. In fact, what I'll do right now is I will cover it with foundation and start over. Oh, this foundation feels so nice. Okay. Much better. I know you can still see the foundation. And that's okay because I'm going over it anyway. There we go. Perfect. Oops, <laughs> I got it on my cheek. I didn't want to get it on my cheek. Okay. I will fix my eyes. Now that I know the trick. Just have to find a color. There we go. Ah! The thing is, my glasses get so powdery. Um, I know a lot of people will say, I don't you wear contacts. Because uh, I don't feel comfortable putting something in my eye. Okay, here we go. Now. This glitter is not Miss Rose. It's Aolalia. A-O-L-A-I-L-I-Y-A. -A -I -I um, first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of pink. Whoops. So pink on my eye. There we go. 
I will tell you, but it is hard to touch your eye like this. Um, because I feel like I'm not being gentle enough. Alright, there we go. Now, ow, poke yourself in the eye. I also have a bruise on my eye. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or not, it's right there. A four-year-old decided to throw a pool rocket at me yesterday. I don't think he realized how heavy the darn thing was. And I probably think he thought I would catch it. Okay. Um, that's my opinion. Not in the least angry with the little guy. Um, I'm kind of upset yesterday because... It hurt, you know, and, um, you know what, instead of using that one, I'm use the one that goes best with this, um, I'm using a different sparkle, because it goes better with, oh yeah, that's perfect. I'll show you what I'm using in a minute. Oops. <laughs> Yep, that's a perfect amount of sparkle. Oh, flipping, yes. Take a look. I'll show you which one I used. Did I get more crap on this? Okay. I used the one right next to it, actually. Right there. Because it matches the shadow that I used really nicely. Um, but yeah, you need to use shadow under it because it leaves spaces. Which I did not realize when I started. I thought you could just use glitter shadow. You can't. You have to use it over the top of shadow. Ah. My glasses are disgusting, guys. I gotta go wash them. And I'll be right here. Anyway. Um. What I'm hoping is cleanser that I have. I'll find my cleanser. I have two different ones. Uh, Avon ones. But I didn't pay for them. I was given them. No, not a sponsorship. Um, I was given them by people, friends and stuff. So, I'm going to, uh, but this thing is a godsend. I am telling you. Yes, it's dirty, but I have washed it and I will wash it again. I'm thinking maybe if I soak it for a while. Um, I don't love the matte finish in lipsticks, but I do love the matte finish in um, the foundation. I don't want a super shiny foundation. Just pick it up. And I want you to note that I am. Whoops. Oh no, that one's already got it. This is from the trash. Okay. Um. messy Bessie so what I did for myself um, um, is that I put this it's a plastic placemat instead of my um, cloth ones because you don't want to put cloth ones people my glasses. There. Ugh, my glasses are a mess. Um, again, that's one of the things when you wear glasses and do makeup. They're going to be a mess. We're going to have to wash them afterwards. Okay. Whoa! I'm in a wheelchair here. Um, my mother's wheelchair because I like to sit in it at the table. Okay, um, like I said, I hope that everybody had a little bit of fun with this. I know, like I said, I'm not, I'm terrible, but I always wanted to try this because I always thought it would be fun, you know, and I don't have a whole lot of experience, um, in the area, but I am obsessed with lips and lipsticks. Love to watch 
different, um, when I watch videos, I tend to watch lipsticks. I have a ton. I mean, look at them all. I was, I was disappointed in this set. Um, the Miss Rose set. Because the first time I put it on, it just cracked right off my lips. I don't know why. Because you'd think this would be very moisturizing. And it's just... Well, maybe if I put it over the other one, it would be. Um, this is one of my cleansers. I said I would show you my cleansers, and I will. So let's get my brushes and my cotton pads in here. I can use the cotton pads to clean off my eyes and stuff like that. Let's go. I'll show you my uh, cleansers. Okay. And this one which is an Avon, um, that's an Avon Solutions. Let me, let me turn you this way. Okay. This one's an Avon Solutions. I have this one that I use in the shower quite often. Um, even when I'm not wearing, whoops, even when I'm not wearing makeup, let me flip the camera. Here we go. Alright, even when I'm not wearing makeup, I like to use this one in the shower. Avon A New um, Perfect Cleanser. I like to use this on my face in the shower. I think it does the best job. This one takes off makeup pretty well. I think this one does a better job. Where is my third one? I have a third one that I just got the other day. Oh, and that's my uh, shampoo. It's for psoriasis. Oh, there it is. My psoriasis shampoo. It smells horrible, but it works. This actually smells great. Is a combination cleanser toner. Now I love toner. I don't think anything makes you feel cleaner than toner. This smells amazing, and I will test it tonight and see which one of the three, and let you know, takes the makeup off the best. Because now I will have used all three to do the job. So I will let you know in a future video. Right now, I'm watching Netflix. Um, it's on pause. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope that maybe you got a good laugh, you know, at my original try at my lips. Um, uh, not my lips, my eyes. Like I said, I do like the feel of the foundation, and it looks very natural on me. And it did somewhat hide this, um, so that's good. Uh, I do need to get my bangs trimmed really bad, but when my hair grows out a little bit more, I'm going to go back to the hairdresser and get the same haircut, because I love it. What I might do is I might plan it so that I make the appointment for the same time that I get my blood work in November. So, we will see. And I can't wait to show you. Um, I did want to show you one other thing. Right here probably noticed it in the background of Kid Missing. This is um, a blanket that was given to me. It's actually a an afghan. It's a crocheted blanket. That's what an afghan is. Um, I think most people are familiar with that though. When my mother passed away and it's special to me for two reasons. One, when I saw her the day that she passed, she was absolutely clinging to it. Um, at the end of her life. So when they said, do you want that blanket? Hell yeah, I want that blanket. Um, for that reason, you know, because it was the last comfort that she had at the end of her life, but also because for a happier reason. My mother made these when I was growing up. She made tons. She could crochet anything. She literally crocheted Cabbage Patch dolls. She would buy Cabbage Patch heads, and they came with this sort of zip tie thing, and you would zip tie it onto the 
doll that you made and stuff the doll. And she would literally crochet Cabbage Patch dolls for every girl in the neighborhood. Um, so that was, my mother was so talented. She just didn't give herself credit. She did gorgeous paint by numbers. She did um, cross stitch, which some people call needlepoint. You're literally making little X's with different colors in your um, my mother and a lot of other people will shade in the areas that they've already done on the pattern, you know, on the paper pattern. They'll shade in those areas with a pencil to show where they've already done. And she was so talented. She just didn't give herself enough credit. There she is. Very talented. Did not give herself nearly enough credit for what she could do. Um, I am... So blessed to have had her as a mom, you know, because she taught me how important reading was. She taught me how important... Let me put this back to me. There we go. Sorry, I have the thing for the tripod attached to the bottom here, and it makes it harder to hold. Um, again, she taught me how important reading was and how fun it is. And how you may not go these places for real, but you can go anywhere in a book. And she was definitely right, and... Um, if you listen to my podcast on bullying, and I will do a video here at some point on bullying, you will notice <clears throat> you because I don't think I mentioned it in the podcast, but I will mention it on here, and that is that one of the things that helped me through bullying, being bullied, was books, reading. Um... I absolutely love reading. Always have. I didn't think I could get used to reading on a, on a device rather than a physical book, but I like that, honestly, because I don't have 99 zillion physical books. So that's kind of nice. Um, my tea is finally cool enough to drink. Mm, thank you, Dawn, for the caramel tea. Mm. It's almost a burnt caramel flavor, but it's good. But I am going to finish my cold drink first. Um, that I got because I knew I wouldn't drink my tea till it was lukewarm, because I'm weird. I am about to post the party vlog from yesterday. Um, it is fully done. I just have to make it public and share it. So, I will go and do that. Thank you again for being a part of Punky's World, where you are always welcome. And please hit that subscribe button for more of the punkified content. Have a great day and God bless you.